So if someone asks you what kind of dinosaur documentary comes first to mind, you might think of walking with dinosaurs, dinosaur planet, or when dinosaurs roamed America. But what about the other dinosaur documentaries like ones you've seen in the museum or seeing it once on BBC Earth? Well, that's where Dinosaurs Giants of Patagonia comes in. Dinosaurs Giants of Patagonia is a dinosaur documentary that not very many people know about, much like Dinosaurs Alive or March of the Dinosaurs. Keep this in mind that I only got to see the trailer that was available on YouTube, and sadly never got to see this movie in its IMAX glory. But I later got the DVD of the film and is this documentary great like what a lot of people say it is? Well, let's look at the premise. It takes the film to Patagonia, Argentina to follow a paleontologist named Rodolfo Correa as he takes us to fossil sites discovering the creatures that they discovered while also cutting to animated segments in between, following the rise of a Giganotosaurus which later is discovered to be a Maposaurus named Longtooth a Argentinosaurus, the largest dinosaur to ever live, named Strong One, as they grow up to adults, meeting each other throughout their lives. The story is basic but pretty good having equal amount of screen time for the dinosaurs and paleontologists while also giving us interesting facts about the dinosaurs and fossils they find. The animation is really good as to give us striking visuals of Patagonia and the dinosaur designs are really good as well. From the jiggling muscles when they move or take a step, to the detailed wounds, and my favorite would have to go to the Giganotosaurus's design, with it having feathers as a baby to slowly lose its feather when it grows up to an adult. Even though the animation is good, in some scenes there are a few problems with it. When they take us to when they first find the new dinosaurs and name them, the objects they put them on look very distracting and parts of the time I have to squint when looking at the screen to figure out what's going on. But these are just minor issues. I am going to mention that it does kind of get distracting when famous actors narrate a film and turn it into a performance. An example I want to use is John C. Riley. The same person who voices Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph narrates a Disney nature film about in the wild. Now don't get me wrong, John C. Riley is a very good actor and Disney Nature's Bears is a good movie, showing animals in their natural habitats. But the way he does it in a nature documentary feels very distracting. But the narration in Dinosaurs Giants of Patagonia is done by Donald Sutherland the guy who plays as the main antagonist in the Hunger Games series. Sure, it can get familiar with his voice sometimes, but he does an excellent job for not turning a narrative into a performance. The dinosaur era lasted 180 million years. So if one rotation of the galaxy is one hour, the Earth is 20 hours old, dinosaurs have lived for 48 minutes, and us, 48 seconds. Overall, I think that Dinosaurs Giants of Patagonia is a great dinosaur documentary. I think a lot of dinosaur lovers would love to watch for visuals and education. But to end this review, I give this documentary a 8 out of 10.